Our hands carry their own set of meanings. Every movement has its own distinct essence, and every individual possesses the ability to use a specific gesture in their own unique way. While speech and gestures will always be intertwined, each can still be characterized by their own distinct traits. American Hustle centers its story around confidence tricks and deception. Thus, in a narrative filled with lies, the unspoken lexicon of gestures serve as powerful visual tools that strengthen our understanding of character, providing subtle and sometimes not so subtle cues about their personalities, habits, and emotions. A study published in the Proceedings of the Royal Society even goes as far as to reveal that people are 20% more likely to be impacted by the verbal language when accompanied by a hand gesture. Director David O. Russell and Director of Photography Lena Sandgren seem to understand the power in hand gestures and how they are able to impactfully tell the story coverbally. Specifically within my two favourite shots of the film, which feature two of the greatest actors of their respective generations. Now while theorist David McNeil proposed that there is a taxonomy of gestures, American Hustle largely utilises the diactic and indexical, meaning gestures that are context dependent such as pointing, or gestures that convey the character's emotions or attitudes, such as rubbing their chin when deep in thought. Now this moment here is the first of the two that stood out to me, as the camera pans down from Christian Bale, putting the complete focus on his hand gestures. But why? Because what is American Hustle truly about? Deceit and lies. And our hands are autonomous. They are all revealing. To start with, let's watch it without dialogue to see what Bale's physical performance as Irvin conveys. First, we can notice the open palms facing Richie. He is opening his hands and symbolically pushing away Richie's ideas, conveying Irving's continuous dismissal and criticism of Richie. Then paired with the downward camera movement, the downward hand gesture signifies the descending trajectory of Richie's flawed, egotistical plan. Irving sees through him, knowing that if they continue down this path, the outcome will be failure. Now let's go back and see what he said in this moment. No, I'm thinking big. All right, this is going to be fantastic. We're doing video surveillance. I'm doing this from the feet up. You will never do it properly because you got too much government attitude to be small and sleek. Can be a con man, all right? I'm in and I'm out. I was there the whole time. You don't know it. Pretty much the same, right? The visual perfectly paralleling and conveying the verbal. We can then contrast this very theatrical and physical performance with Robert De Niro's Victor Telegio in our second shot. De Niro portrays Telegio as someone who is more reserved. He lives in the shadows. He doesn't act with big gestures, but rather keeps his hands subdued lightly tapping them on the table when he is eager about the possibility of making a deal with the sheik over building casinos, and keeping his hands placed over each other, exuding calmness, and causing unrest and unsettledness, as we and the characters know what this man is truly capable of. This is the guy we now have to deal with. For a second time, David O. Russell utilizes the same shot, panning down to Telegio's pair of hands as he reveals the seriousness of the business decision they are discussing and the legality of it all. He keeps his hands face down. He isn't threatening them overtly, like he perhaps would have done in his younger days, but instead wants to keep up his appearance as a businessman, letting his prior reputation speak for itself. Carmine made this legal, but we must be careful, they'll take it away. David O. Russell perfectly repeats this simple piece of film language, where the similar shots speak to each other in harmony, in order to remind us as the audience that this is the face of danger Irving had previously warned Richie against going after. So then, what is the best possible way to signal that the tension within the scene has been relieved, and that an agreement has been made? With a universal symbol of trust, and a shake of the hand. So for all those aspiring actors out there, what can you do with your hands? Well, I, going back to what I just said, I, I try and tie them up to my thoughts and uh, my imagination and my face. Here, for instance, we have two great actors portraying characters that exert individual power in different ways. Not simply through dialogue, but through their physical, non-verbal performances too. 
They elevate the material while staying true to life. And whether these gestures performed by the actors were intentional or not, it does not matter. Because what they are is both revealing and effective.